When it is time to update Zoom, there are a number of ways that you can get this done. The first way is to use your desktop application. Zoom has been installed on your computer, most likely if you have already either attended a Zoom meeting or hosted one. And in order to find your desktop application, uh, if you're on a Mac, you're going to look in the dock at the bottom of the screen. If you're on a Windows computer, it's a very similar bar along the bottom, but it's called the Windows Taskbar. And somewhere in that bar is going to be this Zoom logo. If you don't have it in your bar, then you're going to look somewhere on your desktop screen or in your Applications folder. Somewhere on your computer, it has been installed. Now, if you cannot find this icon in order to open up this application, then you're going to uh, wait for the second half of this video where I show you how to update from the Zoom website. But this is the home screen of your Zoom desktop application. And in the upper right corner, there is your profile picture. And if you don't see your profile picture, then it most likely means that it says sign in where you need to sign into your Zoom account. And you can have a free Zoom account and sign in with that or your paid Zoom account. Once you're signed in, then you're going to look down that menu until you see check for updates. And when you click there, you will be prompted as to whether there is an update pending and it will lead you through the steps to install or you will see the message that you are up to date. Go ahead and click done. The other way to update your Zoom application, navigate to zoom.us. And once you are there, you will see in the upper right corner where it indicates whether you are signed in or not. So comparably, the beginning of this video, we talked about the Zoom desktop application, which is the application that is installed locally on this specific computer. In contrast, this is the Zoom website, which can be viewed from anywhere at any time and any device. And you also can log into your account, but your account is not where you update from. So just to get that concept out of the way, many times when people know that they're looking for their profile picture in the upper right corner to update, they notice here that they have their profile picture and then oftentimes they're like, oh, well, where's that option for check for updates? And here's the thing, you're on the website. And so if you're going to update your, your Zoom by <clears throat> following your account, you're going to do that from the desktop application. And so at this point, you would rewind this recording and follow the instructions at the beginning. If, however, you want to update from the web, you're going to need Zoom's download center. And you're gonna get that from this menu across the top. So where you see resources, and then all the way at the bottom, it says download center. And when you click there, Zoom displays for you the very first option, Zoom desktop client. And that is the desktop application that we were just talking about. That's the one that is installed locally on this specific computer. So when you update, you're not updating your account. You're not updating your account on the web. What you're doing is you're getting this application and it's going to be downloaded to your local computer. So if you do have multiple computers, you will need to do this process from each of them. This recording is currently uh, uh, accessing the website from a Mac. And so therefore this is the Mac version. If I were to repeat these steps from a Windows computer, it would automatically be the Windows version. Uh, Zoom's website anticipates that. It can tell what computer it's coming from. So when you click download, this file now is an application. It is being downloaded in this browser. I'm using Chrome. That's what the name of this internet browser is. And in the bottom right corner, you can see the progress of that download. And that Zoom installer is in your downloads folder. What you're going to do next is you're going to you're going to run this application. And all you do is you just click that. If you are watching this recording from another browser, let's say Firefox or Safari or Microsoft Edge, then you're going to locate this installer file in your downloads folder. And when you double click it, it'll bring up this exact same screen. So now you are installing the program. So this really is not the same as 
updating the current one, but it's bringing you the current one. And you can do this at any time. It just takes maybe a minute or two longer than the steps at the beginning of this video. And when you go ahead and click install, it runs through the installer and then it will tell you when it's complete. You might be prompted for your computer's password. That is the password that you, you enter when the computer is started up from being powered off. And then you just enter that password and then click install. So it takes about a minute or two. And when you see this confirmation message, then you know it was complete and you click close. Now it does prompt you, at least on a Mac it prompts you. You might not get this on a Windows computer, but this message just says, you know, what are you moving to trash? You're just moving that installer program, that one that we downloaded earlier to the trash, because you don't need that. Once Zoom is installed, you don't need the actual installer. That's an extra file that you no longer need. Okay, so once that's complete, then you're going to find Zoom on your computer. Again, it's going to be either in the Applications folder, it's going to be on your desktop, or in the dock or taskbar at the bottom of your screen. Once you bring up the application, because it's brand, it's brand new version, the version number is displayed here at the bottom, and at the time of this recording, that's our version. As time goes on, that version number will change and you wanna keep your, your application up to date. And from here, you can just go ahead and sign in and get, then get ready for your next Zoom meeting.